all right my people welcome back on to this channel well this is another strong one reaching us well still on the matter nothing to be scared of again sunday igboho sends strong warning to killer his men all right my people the news in details well, on today's Chief Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Igbo, said he has nothing to fear anymore after the death of his mother. The freedom fighter said he has returned to take back Yoruba land from the killer headsmen attacking and the murdering his people. Igbo asked others to join him in liberating the people from the killer headers encroaching on their lands well me well onto this legit.ng journalist Ade Kunle Dada has over five years of experience covering metro and the government policy onto this one he made it clear Igbo or your state Yoruba nation activist Sunday Adeyemo Igbo he is back and then he is back to Nigeria to chase out killer men from Yoruba land Igbo said the soldiers and the police deployed to Yoruba land cannot protect the people of the southwest region of the country against S men. Well, until this part that Chisonde Igbo has said, I know a lot of people be like, ah, what does he mean by that? Th that is for people who do not know what is happening in Nigeria. Maybe you are a newcomer in Nigeria and uh, you believe that security personnel, their job, their duty, is to protect the people and all that you'll be like ah why would you not say things like uh the police that have been given order that have been saddled with the responsibility to you know to take care of the people will not be able to protect the people what does you sound mean what does it mean by that and a lot of people be like <laughs> that's exactly what the country has turned us to well, onto this one, Chisonde Igbo I made it clear that soldiers and police deployed to the Yoruba land cannot protect the people of the southwest region of the country against S men. And uh, the fact remains that not that these people cannot do that, but simply because of you know, the malpractices that is going on in the country. Everybody is fighting for his stomach not for anybody to your tent o israel even the people who are saddled with that responsibility to do that are no longer doing what they were employed to do that's why we are where we are today and for people who actually know what is going on they definitely understand what you've sunday boom meant by that and then also this one you've sunday boom as no urged others to work in accordance with their elders and the mount and also secured the places themselves against s men the punch reported the freedom fighter said he had nothing to fear as his mother was no longer alive well and then meanwhile it he has made it clear that it was his mother that was that was his fear before now but now that the mother is gone he has nothing to be scared of and they had made it clear that now that he's back that he's back to take back his father's land all right and then according to chief sunday Bo, he made it clear that he can confirm that chief sunday he is ready and currently available to take care of his people well, I think this is another strong one. You know, there is this adage that the people will say the fear of Chief Sunday Bo is the beginning of wisdom for the you no know, Fulani people. Now, Chief Sunday Bo is in Nigeria. I know a lot of people will be like, "Yes, yeah, so thank God, though, finally, ah, this person that we have been looking for uh, a way to reach to the extent we are unable to reach him because of the distance. Hmm, we never had the opportunity to even you know, get to where he was then, but now." Now God has brought him close to us, so it's a very great deal, according to what definitely 
e the lot of people will be saying right now but right now i think chuson de Bo as a man who whom god has actually blessed and you know i always say this that chuson de Bo did not just come out on his own that oh he wants to fight for the people no but simply because it had been ordained from heaven from above yes that's no 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 this is your duty go and rescue my people just like when uh, in the bible god said uh, uh, pharaoh let my people go yes this same thing is happening and uh, right now we have seen it all that as far as the country is concerned it has never favored anyone except we are deceiving ourselves and uh, the couple with the insecurity that has ravaged the country at a time you no know, the so-called Killer Ismail almost took over the Yoruba land. But even while Chisun Debo was away, his mind was still with his people. In fact, at this, you will understand that it was just the grace of God and the, the ordination of God from heaven that made Chief Sunday Bo to be alive to cater for his people. And the thank God is now back. And I made it clear that henceforth that that thing that has been making him to be scared was his mother but now that the mother was no is no more so what else he fears nothing well um, according to jalingo abdullahi this one is reacting says well ignorance and the mischief sunday Bowo cannot differentiate between s men who carry arms to protect themselves from their um, thrice men who used to attack them rustle their cattle with fulani bandit who attack everybody including their fulani people you were born to find fulanis on yoruba land till date they never disposes any yoruba is land if they destroy anything on someone's farm they are made to pay exorbitantly Igbo should know that there are yorubas living in other states all right yes jalingo abdullah yakubo had made it clear you know i said it i've said it times with that number that these people now that they have seen that you Igbo is back they are scared look at the statement for a very long time we never heard this kind of statement that Igbo should tread softly that you should remember that Yoruba people too are in their land. What does that tell you? <laughs> well, no, we understand what is going on anyway. Well, according to engineer Soma, say well, Igbo is really trying for Yoruba nation, fighting the Fulani men terrorist squarely is to fighting for your ancestral nation. All right, that's another one. Meanwhile, according to Adanogum, Yakubo Joseph says, well, replying to that says, well, reply to Bill Bond says, I am not an Igbo man, but always keep your unborn tribalism, which you inherited from your people out of everything we are talking of how to secure our land from fulani elders you are talking about egos are not trusted as to be president well uh, are yoruba trusted also i believe if an Igbo man had won that election with their um, entrepreneurial and then technical nature nigeria would be better off for you and i are you enjoying now tribalism blindfolded you people okay i think that's another strong one well the fact remains that chief sunday Bo on his own part i made it clear that as far as yoruba land is concerned though mm, that every yoruba person should be jubilating now that he's fully back he is ready to protect his father's land all right my people this is exactly what it is on to this one what more can we say meanwhile let me have your own take my people on this and um, remember to subscribe for more updates if you are just joining us on this channel for the first time all right thanks and god bless